Hey everybody, what's up? So if you are using Infinity Free Hosting or maybe other hostings as well and you encounter this error called Insulation Fail, Abort Class Dash PCL Zip that PHP missing Zilib extensions after let's say installing a theme or a plugin, you don't have to worry anymore because I'm gonna give you the quick fix on how you can overcome these issues regarding the WordPress. So let's see first why it happens. So let's say you go to your appearance and then you click themes, right? And then let's say you are trying to install a theme called Astra. And then when you click install, suddenly it says update failed. And when you try to click it, it will now go something like this. Insulation failed abort class pclzip.php. And it will also show you on another page about the error. So the main reason why this happens is that the hosting provider probably upgraded their PHP version. So what are we going to do about it? So we will be downloading some few things. So first, we'd need a free FTP software. So an FTP software, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. So you remember when you have your smartphones or even the earlier phones, all phones have these file managers, right? Where you can view the music, the videos, or any other files you may, may have, those documents. The same is true when it comes to websites. A website is composed of a hosting and a domain name. And under that hosting, you also have a file manager. And it's called a file manager. Well, to access that, you'll need an FTP software to do so. Although some cPanels allow you to configure the file manager straight from the cPanel. But for the purpose of this video or this tutorial, we're going to be using an FTP software called FileZilla. All right. So we head on to Google and search FileZilla, the free FTP solution. So you just have to download this FileZilla client. And then once you've downloaded it, so make sure you choose the right version. Okay. Here you go. Make sure you choose the right version. So this one's for all platforms. This, this one's for Windows. So once you've downloaded it, you just have to open it. And then once opened, you will see something like this. On the upper left portion, you can see something which says host, username, password, and port. So if you are using Infinity Free, you just have to log into your Infinity Free account. And then under accounts, you will see the FTP details right here. So just copy the FTP username and then put it under username. Copy the FTP password, put it under password, get the FTP host name, put it under host, and of course, port 21. 21 and then click quick connect so once you click quick connect something will show up on this area so this area is the part we're in this is the file manager part all right so to access your wordpress installation you can click on ht docs and then you can see wp-admin content and wp-includes and all the other details so all plugins and all themes are hosted under wp-content so here you can choose let's say for example you are uploading a theme so you have to click themes on this area if you're uploading a plugin you have to click plugins so if you are one of our students at course belt under the not so secret setup, you can now download the theme here by clicking this and the plugin by clicking this. However, if you want to download more themes and plugins, just go directly to wordpress.org. And then let's say you want this theme, you just have to click download, all right? 
the same is the same goes for plugins so just click anything in here and then click download now the important thing here is that once you downloaded it you will be given a zipped file so make sure you unzip it first extract it first before proceeding to the next step and this is the next step so once you extracted the zipped file let's say you want to upload the plugin right or let's say you want to upload a theme so this is the theme that we have it's already extracted by the way and now we have to click on themes then now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna have to drag and then drop and then now on the bottom left part you can see queued file 721 so now it will be transferring 720 files and then here is a successful transfer and then we just have to wait So this is now more on a waiting game. So once you finish the transfer, all you have to do is to go back to your website. And then once you click themes, you will now see Astra in here, right? And then you can now click activate. And it will now work. So again, if you'd like to install a WordPress theme or a plugin, this is what you're gonna do so first you have to download the zip file of it all right and then once downloaded extract it once extracted go to your filezilla or any ftp software you are using and then you start the transfer by dragging it from the left side going to the right side so just in case you can't find what you are looking for uh th this area is your my computer content all right so here you can view the desktop the downloads and all the other folders that you may have so once you click it let's say for example you click um let's say documents all of the documents will be in here and then you can drag and drop the files to your right side so that's how you fix this installation failed abort last error okay See you in the next video.